Hey, what's going on guys? So, this is a video I wanted to make a while ago, and I finally got some time to do it, so I'm going to. I know you're going to call, some of you are going to call me a fanboy, but I just, I kind of want to give credit when credit's due, and just talk about Mr. Nadeshot. So, no, he plays for Optic Gaming, I don't really need to tell you that, but he's also the most popular gamer, at least in, at least in the FPS world right now. And there's plenty of people that don't even play FPS games, or even Call of Duty for that matter, that know who he is. And I just want to kind of talk about him a little bit and kind of give you a little backstory, history, little things like that. So he got a small break when he was eventually able to join Optic Nation, which was kind of an offshoot of the Optic sniping team. It wasn't anything super spectacular, but little did he know that he was eventually going to win the Modern Warfare 3 Call, Call of Duty Championship, well not championships, ex excuse me, the Call of Duty XP that they had with Big Timer, Vengeance, and Merc. And they each won a hundred grand. And before that, he was struggling. He was struggling a lot with money and everything because he wanted this YouTube thing to work. And he really did sacrifice a lot to make it work. And I think a lot of people really don't understand that and really realize that when they look at Nate Shot, They kind of just think he's this kid that got lucky and just fell into this position, and that's not the case at all. He struggled for a long time. If you watch a couple of his videos, he talks about how he struggled. And he also talks about it in this, and that is the Chicago Tribune interview he had. And I'm going to pop up a clip right now, that way you guys can watch it. And I'll get right back into the commentary. There's actually kind of a misconception that all gamers are kind of degenerates that don't really have motivation in, in, the, in the workspace and in school. But uh, when I was a sophomore, I got a worker's permit and I worked part-time at McDonald's. I worked pretty hard in high school and in going into college. Now, the thing about him is that it's pretty crazy to see how far he came. And... The reason he ended up blowing up the way he did was because he eventually got his chance and joined Optic Gaming after Rambo had been released. And that was when his big break came. He started to explode. He had been working on his streaming brand, his YouTube brand for a while. But when he joined Optic Gaming and started streaming 8 hours a day, 8 to 10 hours a day, Black Ops 2, he eventually just exploded. And he's been doing that ever since. And he even eventually... Well, not, I shouldn't even say eventually. It was right after he joined Optic, he got a Red Bull sponsorship. And that's a big deal. Red Bull is a huge company. Huge, huge, huge company. And to think that they're sponsoring this kid that just plays video games is crazy. And I know you're saying, oh, he just plays video games. I said that on purpose because people don't seem to realize that doing what these guys do, like Nate Shot. It takes a lot of time, sacrifice, effort, blood, sweat, and tears to do that kind of thing because it's streaming takes a lot of your day, making YouTube videos. While it's easy and fun a lot of the times, it's still time consuming. Just me making this video is going to take me probably two to three man hours alone. And that's the kind of thing he does all the time. And it's pretty crazy because with all the effort he has put in and all the time he's put in, He's able to make six figures. He talks about that in the interview he had with the Chicago Tribune. And it's just crazy. I mean, it really did confirm it that he does make six figures a year. But he's doing something he loves, but he's also working his ass off to maintain it and do it. But it's really, it really is inspiring because it kind of makes you be like, okay, if he can do it, I can do something like this. And that's part of the reason why I like YouTube because... I'm really, I really do feel like one day I will find something that will help catapult me because I would love to do this for a living. And I, I mean, that's why I spend a lot of time on my computer. That's why I spend a lot of time on the internet. That's why I spend a lot of time on YouTube because I watch people, I, you know, I watch people, I try to figure out what they're doing right and and that's how you become successful. You try to, not you don't try to emulate or imitate people, but you kind of learn from them, and you try to, you try to instill little bits and pieces of other people in yourself while staying true to who you are at the same time. And I'm really hoping one day, it really does work out for me because I, 
I honestly, I could not think of anything else I'd want to do, at least for the next few years, than this. And it would be amazing. But enough about me. Uh, so back to Nate Shot. He has also hit over 1 million subscribers, which, if you think about for a Call of Duty gamer, that's that's insane. And the next, the next player to do that will probably be Scumpy, you know, maybe a year down the road. But, yeah, at this point, you got to just ask yourself, what next? What is next for Optic Nade Shot? I mean, does he keep playing? Does he keep playing? Does he keep playing? Or does he just start focusing on his brand and just worry about that? Like his YouTube, his Twitter, stop competing. Maybe, maybe start his own team. Or maybe just do, and when I say own team, I mean like another Optic team. Like maybe bring back Optic Nation, who knows. But I know <laughs> that Nate Shot will never leave Optic unless he is forced out. And I don't foresee him going anywhere. And if he does quit competing at some point, you know damn well he's going to do something within the Optic Gaming organization under Hex. Or maybe take over for him, who knows. It, you never know what could happen down the road, but yeah, I mean, congratulations to him, and I can only hope that someday something like that happens to me. I mean, the chances of it are pretty small, but if you work hard enough at something, nine times out of ten, you might get rewarded for it. I mean, it's all about dedication and time and willing to make sacrifices. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.